Hi, welcome, merhaba everybody, and welcome to Inji Cooks Turkish. And today we're going to be making uh, a Turkish rice pilav, and this goes great with just about any dish that you want to make in, in Turkish wise. Um, I love it with grilled meats, I love it with chicken, but what I really love it with is the kuru fasulye that we just made in the other video, which I will link uh, in, in this video so you can make that as well. But I love having them side by side. You can just eat it. It just is the most delicious, satisfying meal ever. So we're going to make that right now. It's a very simple and the flavors are incredible. So let's get started here. We're going to turn on the heat. And then I have some butter here. And I'm going to put about two tablespoons of butter. And come on out. And then this is where the secret fun comes in. We're going to take some vermicelli and then put it in here uh, with the butter and heat it up till it becomes a nice toasty brown. And that gives you the most incredible flavor in the rice pilaf. You do not have to add any special seasonings or anything. It is just delicious. So let's do that. And it only takes a, a couple of minutes to get brown, actually, not, not too long. So we're going to stir it to coat. I don't know, when I was little, I used to like take out some of the browned vermicelli and just eat it because it was just so good. Let's get it browned up here real quick. And there's, there is a kind of a, a line of which if you brown it too much, it'll taste burnt. But if you don't brown it enough, then you don't get the really great flavor. So it's kind of like this caramel colored uh, coloring that you want on your vermicelli. So let's brown this up for a couple. Now this rice is going to be very different from the rice cooker rice that can be a little sticky or um, kind of Asian style. This, this literally falls apart where it does not stick together. It's truly a rice pilaf where you get uh, the very nice uh, texture of the rice, but it's not sticky. Nope, it's starting to get brown. Yay. Okay, here we go. Well, I can only tell you when you start to, when you brown the vermicelli and the butter starts to brown it, it just smells so good because you get that brown butter um, scent and that really permeates the whole entire dish, which makes it so delicious. Look at this. See, we're starting to get a little color but I need to keep it moving so it doesn't end up getting scorched, which is really the goal of the vermicelli here. Here we go, here we go. Once we get this nice and toasty, I'm going to put in the water. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in the better than bouillon only because I didn't have any chicken stock, but you can sure put that in. And if you're already cooking chicken, then always reserve it so you can make the rice um, have extra flavor. And honestly, I, I really think that that is a really important thing to do when you're cooking this kind of rice pilaf because you cannot just cook it with plain water. It won't have the same flavor or the same, you know, the same taste at all. And I think that's the thing about Turkish cooking. There's a lot of flavors, but they're always fresh. They're always uh, very authentic. You're not, you're not going to be putting any fake flavors in for sure. Okay, I think we've gotten a nice toasty color here. And I think this is a good, good amount of brown because I don't want to scorch it. So I'm going to pour this in. Stand back. Because it will sizzle. Stir that up a bit. Now I'm going to take some of my better than bouillon only because I don't have any already made. 
And I'm going to take about a tablespoon. This is kind of a big spoon, so. I don't know. I have a hard time getting rid of this spoon. It's so ancient, I don't even know where it came from. But it's my go-to measuring spoon, literally, for everything. So I can't get rid of it, and it's, it's stuck permanently in the kitchen. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to now put in the washed rice. I washed it three times. You rinse it with water and then strain it out. I'm going to put that in there. Okay, let's get all the rice out. Oops. I'm doing it left-handed, which is not very good for me since I'm right-handed. Here we go. Let's stir this up. And we're going to bring this to a boil. And then I'm trying to get all the better than bullion off my famous spoon here. I'm going to bring this to a boil while I'm watching it. And then once I turn it down, I'm going to put my lid on and we're going to time it for 20 minutes. So let's put, the, oh, here we go. It's starting to boil just ever so slightly. You can see the little boiling areas here. I'm going to let it boil just a tiny bit more and then I'm going to turn it down so we don't scorch anything or burn anything and you want the rice to cook slowly so that way it cooks thoroughly if you cook it too fast sometimes you know how this happens to everybody i think you get crunchy rice and that's because you're cooking it too fast so let's turn it down here i'm going to turn it down to a simmer and then put this big old lid on it and just let it do its thing so what we'll do is we'll meet back in 20 minutes and then we'll try some and I know it's going to be good and it's super easy. So we'll be back in 20 minutes. Okay, so we have let our rice pilaf cook for 20 minutes and we're ready to plate it and give it a try. So here we go. I'm so excited to show you. Look at that. Whoa, beautiful. Ah, okay, so... Let's get the little spoon. Get a nice helping here. And I know sometimes when people make the rice, if you're going to serve it as a side dish, you can put it into a nice ramekin or, you know, some kind of mold and then pack it in there and then turn it over in your plate. And it looks very, very elegant. I know a lot of the ladies do that in Turkey. But here's our lovely rice pilaf and I'm going to give this a little taste test here okay it's terrific because it's not sticky not that I don't like sticky rice but in this case this is more of a pilaf and you also have all of the nice flavors of the chicken broth and the um, butter, and it gives it a very rich mouthfeel when you're eating it. It's not like eating a steam rice. It has a little more body and a little more flavor than that. But anyway, so I'm going to put a link to the kuru fasuye that you can make um, in as a, a pairing with this. It's one of my favorites, and you can also make this with any grilled vegetables or meats that you um, you prefer. So um, I appreciate you stopping by today. Teşekkürle for joining us in Hoşta Kalın. And please, uh, if you could subscribe, I would appreciate it. Subscribe to Inji Cooks Turkish. And thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.